Center Seward, thanks for being here. It's good to see you. Well, thank you, Liz. It's good to be here. This is actually a long time coming. We've been talking about SUNY tuition for um, two, well, at least two years now in terms mm -hmm. of in the context of UB 2020 and then outside the context of UB 2020. Now what this is, this is the rational tuition, quote unquote, mm -hmm. bill that the chancellor has been seeking. Is that right? That's correct. Uh, I, I have been a long time supporter of a rational, predictable uh, tuition policy for SUNY. I think that's in the best interest of the students and the best interest of the campuses. And this actually, it's, it's up to 5.5% is what you're proposing? Yes, uh, the, our bill calls for a, a up to a 5.5 percent uh, increase, and that number actually comes from uh, a resolution that was passed unanimously by the Student Association of, of SUNY students, uh, representing all, all the students uh, from around the campuses. Right. That's where that number comes from, and we utilize that number, and as well as other provisions in the bill. What's interesting about this actually is that, and then there was a, you were holding a press conference today. You've introduced the bill. Right. Okay. The, what's interesting about this is that you also have an assembly sponsor who is a Democrat. Yes, uh, Crystal uh, People Stokes from the Buffalo area. Right, and that's sort of ground zero for the discussion uh, about, because of UB 2020, for the discussion about how uh, the SUNY system can be an economic driver, how mm -hmm. it, it can specifically help redevelop downtowns like Buffalo, which is in need of it, and then how tuition can be used um, to help drive those kind of projects. Mm -hmm. The problem is that the Assembly Democrats haven't, seen, haven't seemed, up until this point, too terribly interested. So has that changed? Well, I think it's beginning to, uh, Liz. I think um, no question that the SUNY system is one of our state's greatest assets. It is very much a part of our economic engine in the state. If you recall last week uh, they issued a report uh, which uh, uh, said that they have about close to a $20 billion impact uh, on our economy in New York State, our SUNY system. And very appropriately, the SUNY system has uh, uh, been front and center of late. Uh, a lot of discussions, uh, UB 2020, uh, SUNY 2020. Uh, there have been summits on uh, UB. There's just meetings just this week on uh, Stony Brook. Uh, so it, SUNY has been under um, uh, the microscope of late uh, and front and center, and I think appropriately so. And I believe this is an opportune time because of all the attention focused on SUNY to do something for the entire system, all of the uh, campuses. Right. And that, that's why I uh, decided to introduce the uh, rational tuition policy legislation. Well, what you're talking about actually is, so there's a couple of parallel tracks here, if you will. One is that the governor, after telling UB that what they wanted to do was actually probably too expensive and the state wasn't going to be able to handle it, created this grant program called uh, NY SUNY 2020. Mm -hmm. There's all these like names getting tossed around. Mm -hmm. And Stony Brook and UB have now both made presentations to the governor and they're asking for an increase, the ability to increase tuition beyond what you are proposing, right? So they would get special dispensation, in other words, to use that money as an economic driver. What you're saying is, because other schools are now saying, wait a minute, that's not fair. We would also like the ability to have some ability to create a cash flow for ourselves because they're, they've had their funding cut over the years. Well, you're right. If you take a look at the last three years, uh, the SUNY system as a whole has been hit uh, about $1.4 billion. And uh, I, I believe that uh, they need to have uh, some sort of uh, uh, funding stream that they can count on that is predictable for the campuses. And that's another aspect of, uh, of, of our approach in terms of the tuition. But I think that the uh, uh, the fact that uh, the, the University of Buffalo, or Stony Brook, the other uh, university centers are asking for um, some special flexibility, I think this is the time when uh, we should help the entire system. Uh, and that's why I think this is the way to do it. Do you think it's appropriate for those research centers to actually to be asking for special consideration? Well, personally, I'm not, I do not favor uh, so-called differential uh, tuition. Mm. I think we should view the SUNY system uh, as a system as a whole uh, and uh, certainly there's some things we can do in terms of enhanced uh, flexibility at the campuses, uh, those types of things. Personally, when it comes to tuition, I, I believe that we should have a system-wide tuition rate. But those discussions, uh, as you know, are, are going on. You know, the governor's personally involved and, and, and many others, uh, the Senate, the Assembly, other stakeholders. But I, I think this is uh, a time when no matter what happens to those talks in terms of the university centers, 
it's this is the time to do something for the entire system. And that's, that's that's the that's why I introduced the legislation uh, with uh, Assemblywoman uh, People Stokes to get get the uh, other campuses some of their needs on the table as well. The Speaker of the Assembly, who had previously, as I mentioned, the conference was, was uh, concerned about putting the cost of education out of reach, of a SUNY education mm -hmm. out of reach, particularly for kids who come from low to middle income families. So and, and another problem was, of course, that, that we've seen and it's sort of been um, recurring in the, SUNY, in the SUNY system is that you raise the tuition and then subsequently the money gets swept away mm -hmm. from the system to help plug little holes in the budget. So you've inclu included a, a quote unquote lock box, mm -hmm. right? And also uh, the elimination of the possibility of sweeping the money. And the speaker made comments that that was something that he thought that he needed to see before he was able to approve something like this to support it. Do you know now that the speaker is able to support this bill? Well, the, uh, the speaker uh, just uh, yesterday did uh, indicate uh, uh, some support for a tuition policy. Uh, the governor has been talking about uh, the same concept. Uh, so I'm cautiously optimistic we can move forward. But as you point out, there's a lot more to this legislation and this approach than simply you know, setting the rate of uh, tuition in a predictable uh, manner. Right. That is uh, the lockbox to make sure that uh, the tuition dollars stay with the SUNY system and with the campuses where they're generated. So th if the student's paying a bit more, uh, let's have them feel some benefit uh, from those additional dollars. A and also, uh, it would eliminate this problem we've had the, with uh, the state sweeping uh, tuition dollars just to fill a, uh, a state deficit. That's what happened with the last tuition increase. Well, and the, prob the only problem is that you pass a bill that says, you no longer have the ability to sweep money away from SUNY. And then, I don't know, five years down the road, assuming you are not here to protect that particular bill, there could be a, a different elected legislature than, that decides to repeal that, just like you're repealing a piece of the education law that enables them to sweep that money away. I mean, it's impossible, really, to protect the money in perpetuity, isn't it? Well, we're certainly uh, uh, going to do the best we can, and that is by pa putting it in statute. Uh, to uh, set up the lockbox and to say that uh, it's not possible to sweep this money because that's what's happened uh, in recent uh, history. And 90% of the last tuition hike in the December of uh, 2008, I believe it was, 90% of that tuition hike did not go to the students and, and to SUNY. It went to uh, the deficit reduction. Uh, and another feature of our legislation is uh, requirement that the uh, state maintain its effort, a maintenance effort, right. maintenance of effort, uh, so that um, we will not be in a situation, as has happened far too often in the past, where we charge the students more and the state continues to back off its financial support of the system. So under our maintenance of effort provisions, uh, the state would uh, uh, continue to uh, support the system at, at a baseline of, of what, what is support this year, and then the additional tuition dollars would, could be used to enhance the educational opportunity at our SUNY campuses rather than simply, once again, fill, fill a, a, a budget. Do you have, uh, I know you're optimistic, but of course you only, you're, you're leaving town because you're not scheduled, obviously, to be here. You, it was a short week because of the Memorial Day. Mm -hmm. You've only got, I mean, eight days left. June 20th is the last day. So many things on the legislature's plate. Where in the pantheon of those things that are left to do, do you believe that this falls? Well, I think it's high on the list. Uh, the governor has been uh, giving personal attention to the uh, presentations of uh, University of Buffalo, Stony Brook. Uh, they're, they're, this is a, a front burner issue uh, for the administration, it would, it would appear. The speaker is uh, beginning to uh, uh, indicate his support for this general concept. In the Senate, uh, this legislation has been reported out of the Higher Education Committee to the Finance Committee, so it it's, uh, certainly has support in the Senate. I'm working very closely with the Chairman of the Higher Education Committee, uh, Senator Laval, on this uh, endeavor. Uh, so uh, that leads me to be uh, cautiously optimistic that something can be done to uh, not only uh, benefit certain select campuses, such as our university centers, but something that will benefit the system as a whole. Mm. Well, we shall see, of course, but I want to thank you in the meantime, Senator Sword, for coming in to talk to us about it. it. It's something that I know that a lot of viewers have been following because we've got a lot of campuses in the viewing area. So Absolutely. It's, it's, SUNY is one of our greatest assets. Let's help it uh, to be even more so.